So this is the potato experiment with the enzyme catalase. The first thing we did uh, is we prepared our potato. So we made some marks on our potato and we cut a one centimeter wedge in the middle of our potato. Now in this video, I'm recording at high speed just to sort of remind you of the process of what we did. So be very, very careful if you're redoing this experiment or doing it for the first time as it is high speed. I'm nowhere near using the knife at the speed that it appears um, because I'm just giving you a summary of it. Then we cut a two centimeter section and then we cut four half centimeter sections like you see there. And again, this is high speed, so I'm really not cutting this quick. And so the result at that point is we have our four pieces of potato, one, two, three, and four, and they are one centimeter by two centimeters by half a centimeter. All right. So potato one, two, potato three, we're going to cut it up into small little tiny chunks, as you see there. And the goal of what we're doing there is we are creating a potato, the same amount of potato as the others, but this one will have a much higher surface area because of cutting up the potato, as you see there. So one centimeter by two centimeters by half a centimeter, and then potato two, we're gonna put in boiling water for a few minutes. Then we set up our test tubes and we have four test tubes, one, two, three, and four that will correspond to our potatoes. The, the liquid inside the test tubes is hydrogen peroxide. And then in test tube four, we also put um, one milliliter of acetic acid or vinegar and we put water for one milliliter in test tubes one, two, and three. Then we put our potatoes in and we have test tube one with a regular potato test tube two, the one we boiled, test tube three has the potato we chopped up, and test tube four, normal potato, but with acetic acid, and then we let them sit. And what you see is the enzyme taking action and doing the chemical reaction, which is taking the hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, and converting it into water and oxygen. And that enzyme catalase is found inside the potatoes. And you can see in test tube three that by chopping up the potato and increasing the surface area, we allowed more of the enzyme catalase to come into contact with the uh, substrate, which is hydrogen peroxide, resulting in more bubbles. So again, test tube one and test tube three give you the best results. By far, test tube three works the best. Test tube four, the enzyme's been denatured. And in test tube four, we've also denatured the enzyme, but we've done it chemically by adding um, acetic acid into it. So that is the catalase experiment summary.